Today is March 31st, 2022. We're standing inside of a 2018 Thor Quantum 26 RS. You take a look at the beautiful cabinetry here. You have a sofa, which is a jackknife sofa, a dream dinette, full size or queen size bed up above that has a skylight. That will drop down to two thirds size and stop right there. Full size TV. So this one is a 2018. It has about 13,900 miles on it. It has a bedroom slide, as you can see here. So you have a walk around queen size bed. I wasn't able to do a video the first time I put this up on RVT. Now I am shown it to several people here today and a few days ago. Full-size bathroom with a porcelain potty. Nice size uh, shower. Glass doors you can see so everything is heavy duty. Heavy duty armrest. It comes with a, uh, a tankless water heater so it's continuous feed water heater. It's at 115 degrees right now. If you take a look at this coach, we actually have uh, it on. The generator is on right now. We're running at 193 hours. It's a 4,000 kilowatt Onan, Cummins Onan generator. It shows you all of the tank levels. For easy access. It has a black tank and gray tank uh, tank heaters. Cool weather. Your water pump. Everything is easy and accessible right here. Lots of storage, lots of functional storage, as you can see here. Functional storage. In lieu of an oven, you have a convection microwave oven right here. Deep set stainless steel sink right here. Three burner stove for ease and functionality. Quite a bit of space up underneath. Functional drawers right here. There we go. What you'll find inside of a Quantum is upgrades in cabinetry, in uh, everything that you see. I tell people if you're impressed by this, be even more impressed by what you don't see which is how it is built you see the cabinets quite a bit of cabinet space here again it's all about functionality usefulness ample storage inside and out uh, during the pandemic several people purchased this unit as a getaway didn't want to stay at hotels so they bought RVs in lieu of that and when life returned to some degree of normalcy they treated this back in. The most recent owner Lori and her mom used it three times during the pandemic and now are so busy in their medical practice that they cannot make use of it so that's why they're making it available for sale. Like I said, it's just got a tremendous amount of storage on board. This coach only has 13,000 and change miles on it. Let's see right here, we're close to 14,000. 13,958 miles, if you can see that. It has a backup camera.
quite a bit of space. All of the furniture is in great condition except for this sofa. Bonded leather has been an issue inside of coaches. We can certainly get a price on this, which we will get that shortly. But uh, you, you can have obviously the capability of sleeping two people up here easily. The Dream Dinette makes into it another bed. This is a jackknife. So you can fold this down and make it into a bed as well. And on the outside of the coach, which we'll step outside right here, you've got quite a bit of storage outside. This is built with rotocast. So if it gets wet, you can easily dry it out. This is built on an E350 with a Triton V10 engine. Has the capability, it shows a rating of towing up to 8,000 pounds. But most people don't tow more than about 5,500 to 6,000 pounds. As you can see, the slide is out. You've got a slide cover on that. The roof was just recently re-caulked. Re uh, uh, this week, we put a brand new house battery on board. The gentleman in, the, in his garage is the gentleman that is responsible. We've got a uh, uh, propane gas for propane gas grills. Going to go up here to see if you can see. There you go. Look at how beautiful that is. Nice work, Ray. There's your awning slide cover. We put the awning out, but uh, I have pictures of it fully extended. So if you have any questions, please call John Clayton at 727-470-3746. That's 727-470-3746.